Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is kind of funny, but at the same time, it's very shameful and sad. Okay, I'm going to read you this little article. It's about France, and I believe I have a subscriber over there. Um, it's by Stephen Baker. This is really tiny print. It was put up as a picture on my Facebook Messenger. Okay. Exclusive. Factory workers in France forced to wear dog collars, they're calling them, to ensure social distancing. They're taking it seriously. <laughs> Boy, them things would be going off all over the place up here. Anyway, February 2nd, 2021. I don't get on Facebook very often, folks. I'm sorry. Uh, folks, it says... It says folks and you thought our politicians were crazy. <laughs> this is ridiculous. The high points. One, ST, a Swedish manufacturer in France that produces tissue paper, baby diapers, and feminine care products has been called out for treating employees like dogs after the company announced that workers must wear a social distancing device that emits, quote, emits a high decibel sound if employees are too close to each other, unquote. I wonder if it goes off in three different places at the same time. I mean, who's keeping track? Oh, well, maybe they have a program for that, huh? Some computer picks up on it. Anyway, number two, in an interview published in the French newspaper Le Monde, the CFDT, probably something like CDC, <laughs> I don't know, revealed that the necklaces, now they're calling it a necklace, emit a sound of 85 decibels. I gotta look that up. If the two meter distance is not observed. Number three, Christine Duguay, a CFDT union representative, explained that even though ST claims that the device is intended to quote discipline employees and call them to order, unquote, implementing the system is, is, quote, an attack on individual freedoms, period, unquote. Now, here is the link. I'm going to click on it. See if it'll take me there from here. No. Because this, see, this is in my, no, I can't even copy and paste it. It's in natural news, naturalnews.com from February 2nd. Factory workers, France, wear dog collars, coronavirus.html. If you want to write that down, put a little dash between each one, or you could probably just go to naturalnews.com, February 2nd, 2021, and type in the search bar, factory workers, France, wear dog collars, coronavirus.html. All right, and it...
Arrowhead Ranch five days ago. Arrowhead Ranch. Okay, so I that's all I've got because it's like I said, it was put in my messenger as a picture. So I can't even click on the link. So or like it. Can I like it? No. So apparently somebody just did a snapshot of it and put it there. Okay, well my friend did. My friend Rosie put, sent this to me. She doesn't watch my videos, but she'll send me stuff. Okay, so how do I get out of here? I guess exit this. Yes. Okay, so I'll end this here. I just wanted to let you know how far it's going in some places. Don't even get any ideas, DC. People be snatching them collars off their necks and throwing them. <laughs> That's terrible. Can you believe it? Yes, it's the New World Order. They can do whatever they want. And we just have to follow along like little puppy dogs, obeying or put up with the consequences. Well, let's pray that doesn't come here because that's just a little bit on the side ridiculous. What do you think? What's your opinion? Is it better to stay six feet apart than to have to wear a mask? Why should we have to do both? Let me know what you think. Put it in the comments below. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.